Hey, Natasha. Thanks for doing this. This is really cool of you to do. Coming to you live from my garage, my favorite place in the house, pretty much. Um, I was asked by Natasha for a Lincoln Park memory. Um, I think one of my favorite is right after uh, <clears throat> Chester broke his ankle and um, pretty sure we were in Indianapolis when that happened and um, we did the show of course he did the show and uh, pretty sure I was running camera and we're in loadout and loadout is you know like crazy semi-controlled chaos and I'm right in the middle of loadout and here he comes like through the middle of it on his little scooter and he scooted up to me and everybody is just you know kind of like stops and he goes he looks around and I'm like sweating and I've been yelling and stuff and um, he goes you do this every night and I said yeah, pretty much. And he said, man, if you can do this every night, I can get up there and sing every night. And I just, you know, that was so like Chester. Um, so typical. He was such a kind and sweet and caring person. And, um, and I really got to see that, um, that care that he had for all his fans after he passed away. I was contacted by so many of you guys. Um, and I replied to every single one of you. I thought it was really important that I try and speak to every single person that reached out to me because that's what he would have done. And that's, that's the... Uh, fan base that he and the band built up and I was so proud of how all the fans just became the family that I always felt I was a part of and I feel really fortunate to be a part of that um, it's a huge honor um, and it's an honor to be allowed to, you know, share some stuff with you guys. I think the most touching thing for me was um, when my son Briggs got sick and we were trying to put him into his first uh, treatment facility and my wife and I were going really crazy. We were just stretched in so many different directions. It was really um, expensive. I, we were unprepared for how much money they wanted. And um, I was at the park with the dogs and I noticed that my wife had set up a GoFundMe page and I, I had no idea she was going to do that. At first I was a little upset by it but we were kind of desperate. We were, we didn't have uh, any answers and we needed to come up with all this money. And I think it had only been set up for like 10 minutes before you guys just started throwing money in there. And I, I was just amazed at how many of the people that I met running camera down in the barricade and their friends and my friends and my family and their family and the whole Lincoln Park universe just started throwing money into that GoFundMe page for my son. Um, and of course my wife and I will never forget that, you know, I mean, um, we're family. We're, we're, I've never worked for a band that cared more about their fans than Linkin Park and that's 
the God's Truth. I've worked for quite a few bands over the last 25 years, um, but never a band like this one. And it's always been a source of pride with me um, that I got to be allowed to be a part of that, you know, and um, and I got, I was allowed to be, you know, like close to you guys running the camera and the barricade and, and that meant so much to me. Um, and to this day, you know, I, I have so many friends that I met um, in the Lincoln Park world uh, that have remained my friends and uh, I stay in touch with them still. Um, you guys just mean the world to me and my wife. We'll never forget you guys and um, I love you all and it's just amazing what the band built is this awesome family. It's so cool uh, that it still lives on today and I feel like I'll always be a part of your lives. You'll always be a part of mine because of, you know, the love you showed us. So I love you guys. Um, thanks for doing this, Natasha. Very cool of you. <laughs>